Hey, good morning everybody. It's about 9 o'clock in the morning. How are you? Glad you can make it to the channel. Things are pretty good my way. Hey, we're going to take you out to uh, an antique flea market today. We're going to head over to Elkhorn, Wisconsin. Just up the road about five miles. Not too far. Just something to do for a Sunday. But I'm not so sure we're going to make it though because it looks like rain again. It's been raining just about all the time when you want to do something, when there's something going on. If there's nothing going on, it's a beautiful day, but then when you want to do something, it's a rainy day. Seems to be the way it always is. And I think that's why I got out of the flea market business. Because every time I turned around, it was raining on a weekend. I was in that business for about 12 years, something like that. And that seemed to be a problem all the time. I got out in 2001. 2001 is when the Twin Towers went down and Everything dried up. There wasn't any money. Nobody wanted to spend any money, so I could not function anymore. So I had to park everything. I still got everything. I don't have my paintings and stuff, but I've got all the equipment to fire it back up if I need to. So it's sitting here now, and uh, I could do it anytime I want, but I don't choose to do so because I hear that the spots are very expensive. Uh, I don't think I could afford a 40 or 50 foot spot by 20 foot deep anymore. Because I remember paying about 15 bucks for something like that years ago, and now, you know, you you're looking at some places are as much as 250 bucks just for a spot that size. So you'd have to go small, and the stuff I had was just too extraordinary. I had to have too much of it to sell a decent amount of it. You know, so all right, enough of that. Let's get on with it. Let's head over to Elkhorn. We'll see you over there. All right. Let's go. Okay, folks, we're at the Elkhorn Fairgrounds today. We're uh, at the uh, Antique Flea Market. Let's see what's going on. Take you along with me today. A little bit windy, but we'll have to put up with it. A lot of cool stuff here. Cast iron grills. Yeah, we'll take off, go down here, find out what's out here. I'm inside a building now. Getting out of the wind a little bit. I have enough of him every day. He doesn't leave me alone. I love everything in here. Oh, Christmas stuff. Get some nice signs from my bar. Some neon signs. That's pretty cool stuff. Do that ham sign. Still works real good. That's so cool. Cool. 
I remember having one of them when I was a kid. There's an oldie. Goes back a ways. Cool gas cans, all re I'm refurbished. Smart, right? I should. Yeah. Well, this is what I do. <laughs> yeah, he does. He does it. No, I don't even sell it. Just <laughs> protect their job on cleaning them up. Here's a scene of what you do with bottles when you find them. Take them to a market like this and sell them. They bring some good money. I watch Crick Diggers a lot, and that's what they do. They find bottles. And this is an example of what happens to them. They come to an antique show and they sell them. That's pretty cool. Yeah, one thing you always find at one of these shows is a kettle corn booth. You'll see what's going on there. Keep up today? Yeah, doing all right. That's good. There are some beautiful chairs I wouldn't mind having. Just gorgeous. Look at this table. Oh, look at this big bottle. Isn't that cool? It's huge. I wonder what they want for that. <laughs> there we go. China. I don't know what's bringing. I mean, it's just not too cheap. Okay, it's springtime, and the big thing now is plants. So you see a lot of plants here. Oh, my plants is a place to come. yesterday. This is a 
big thing here today is a lot of plants. Good place to sell them. Nice worker chair set for 80 bucks. Kind of like that. A lot of cast iron. Oh, <laughs> thank you. You can feel them all. Yeah, that's all right. No problem. And I said, we can't, we gotta go to you first. Let me get your name. Let me get your name. So, how much? You want that pot there? Like you see, it's one of them days, a lot of wind, clouds, probably going to rain soon, but it's the way it is every time you got a festival going on. I just thought I'd bring you along and see what you think of uh, an antique festival, or not a festival, an antique, uh, what we call a flea market show. They have this, I think, twice a year in Elkhorn, Wisconsin. And it's at the fairgrounds. And uh, I don't usually come to this because I always was involved with flea markets myself. But now that I got the time, I can go around and check these places out that I've never been to. But it seems like spring is getting off on the wrong start. We've got rain all the time. It just about everywhere you go, you got rain. Okay, yeah, coming out to a bunch of signs. This all seems to be a, something that everybody's interested in collecting. I never had too much luck with signs when I was in the flea market business. I sold a few. Warner? Oh, yeah, you go there. Hey, You see, he's got quite a bit. I used to try to sell stop signs. You couldn't give those away. Uh, more flowers, see what I mean? There's quite a few flowers. Good time to sell them. Uh, here we got some old picture frames. Christmas lights inside there? Yeah. Yeah, back inside a building now, you can see how crowded it is. Not too bad. Lots of stuff to look at. Lots of stuff. So you might be able to find Stuff. 
like that globe. Looks like it's only 29 bucks. It ain't too bad. Here's a little photograph. That's really old. Pretty cool. That's up an opportunity. Okay. <laughs> she's gonna play it. Yes. Let's see what she sounds by, like. By far the cutest thing though is the stove. Did you get the stove? I'll try that, yeah. The I'll be glad to do that. Everybody. Yeah. That's pretty cool. Nice. Thank you. Appreciate it. Here's a stove that he's talking about. That's pretty cool. Crock pots. So we got over here. I remember when crock pots were a big item. They brought some really good money. I'm sure you still do. They're hard to find. You sure got plenty of them here. Got some big ones, some small ones. Got quite a collection. I remember when I first started flea markets, I had a guy that I ran into all the time. He was all set up to me. And we did shows together, and he sold a lot of crack pots. Made a lot of good money on them. Yep, they weren't the good old days. Another beer sign. That'd be cool to have. For my bar. These old oil cans. That's awesome. A Westinghouse fan. That's got to be old. Or cast iron. Waffle iron. I could use one of them. They all seem to find a lot of old toys at these markets. They seem to bring a lot of money. We've got a lot of jewelry here too. A lot of nice things. Hey, we're back outside again. Hopefully you don't get too much wind blowing. Another vendor. Cold brew. Gotta have something to drink. Go get it. Get some drink right now. Hang on guys. There are some beautiful chairs I'd like to have. Only thing is missing around table. Oh, wash tub.
then you turn around and you sell what you got from what you paid to repair. Well. <laughs> Wilson. <laughs> okay, guys. I think I found the thumbnail for my my uh, video here. Wait for it to come up. Fourth County Fairgrounds, May 19th. Antique flea market. Look at that. Hope you can see it. Might use it for a thumbnail. Might not. Deep fried cheese curds. That'd be good right now. I think I'll get some. Hang on, guys. Okay, folks, we're back. That was good. Hey, you guys, see this? This is really cool right here. This is something I used to use back in the old days, the lumber cart. Throw your lumber on there. Yeah, it's pretty neat. Got a handle on it. Steel wheels. Pretty cool. That says 165 bucks for it. Best offer. I remember throwing them out when they got bad. Well, folks, we're at the end of our line here. We're going to head out. Hope you enjoyed the video. And uh, it's getting to be kind of a crappy day today, but it's just so windy out. I don't know where all this wind comes from, but we got a lot of wind. Here's some maple syrup. we got to check this out. Good stuff. Well, we're gonna head out, folks. Hope you like the video. I want to get some more out of the wind so I can end it. Okay, guys, I got back home now. It's pretty windy out there. It's gonna rain any minute, so I thought I'd get out of there before it was time to get all wet, get the camera all soaked. Didn't want that to happen. Uh, correction on the, uh, the antique uh, flea market that they advertise there. I said it was twice a year. It's actually five times a year. They have it five times a year. I think it's once a month or something like that. You know, so a guy told me that when I was coming out. So how do you like? How'd you like it? I thought it was something to. I take you by and show you. It's just up the road about five miles and something to do on a Sunday. Uh, didn't have to travel too far. Cost five bucks to park your car, which I don't understand why they do that because it kind of takes away from the, the people that are going in to buy stuff, you know. It takes away from the money. I never was a believer when I was flea marking to charge the customers to come into the show. The uh, vendors themselves pay big money to, to be there. That should cover all expenses. Don't charge the customers to come to the show. It should be free. You know, that's what I always said all the time I've been in it. And you know, there's been a lot of discrepancies. You know, back when I was in it, I think I quit. Well, I know I quit in 2001, without a doubt, when the Twin Towers went down. And uh, that's quite a while. And things have changed, prices went up. And I don't think I could ever afford to do it again because I, I always needed 40 feet by 20 deep. And uh, it costs you a fortune to have that now. So anyways, I'm going to end this off now. And uh, you guys uh, have a great day. And hope you like the little video I put together for you. If you're ever in the area over in Walworth County, Wisconsin, you happen to hit the date just right. There's a flea, you know, one of the antique flea markets at the fairgrounds. So check it out if you happen to be by. So that's my take for today, and uh, stay tuned. I got a shout out for you. You might be on it. We'll see you in a minute. Thanks. Bye. Okay, guys, here we go. Here's the shout outs for this week. We're going to take a look at them here. Okay, I got Crick Diggers Incorporated. Uh, they're starting to pick up pretty good away, looks. Got 884 subscribers. 
Uh, let's give him a hand. As you know, when I was at the uh, antique flea market, I showed you a lot of bottles. And that's what this channel is all about. How they go about getting all these bottles. And uh, they got many, many videos. See, they got they got a ton of videos. And uh, it's really interesting watching what they find and how they go about it and all the hard work they do to get these. It's just amazing and uh, all the work that goes into it. Then they got to clean them all up, get them all ready. And then uh, I imagine they, they have a market for them. So they resell them. So, uh, folks, I hope you take a look at these guys and uh, give them a try. You know, subscribe to them. Help them out. They got 884 and they're looking for that 1,000. So give me a hand. Really appreciate it. All right, let's go look at the next one here. Outdoors Gale, zero, or O, the letter O, I believe it is. Uh, it's another channel that needs some help. She's uh, got 842 and uh, looking for that 1,000 mark. See what they got for videos. So you got a lot of stuff going. She's into doing a lot of fishing and stuff. And uh, she follows people around and gives reports on what's going on. She does the fishing herself, a lot of ice fishing and stuff. And I uh, imagine she's got a lot of stuff going on this summer. I watched a few of her, her uh, videos earlier. Uh, like I said to you guys before, it's really hard to keep up with everybody. There's a lot of watching they got to do. If you want to keep up with everybody, you try the best you can, and that's all you can do. That's why I like promoting channels like this and shout-outs. It helps more than anything. So, yeah, give these guys a, a check and see what you think, or give her a check. You know, she could use some help, so give her a hand. Appreciate it. All right, you guys take care. We'll see you on the next video. All right? All right, see ya. Yeah, bye.